Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Harlequins Solitaire from Games Workshop. One of these models will set you back £16. Let's have a little look inside. We've got a couple of other little things in here as well. So, uh, it's just a small little order. There we are. So, there is the Harlequin Solitaire. One of the fastest kind of infantry models out there. Moves, I think, 12 inches, which is insane when you think about it. A uh, lovely looking miniature. I do have a, a small Harlequin uh, army. A very small one though, more of like a detachment than anything. Uh, but let's make short work of this. And take the little base out. It's a tiny, tiny 25mm base. And then you've got this. I mean, the base there looks like it's a... It's not a 25mm. It looks like it's a 32 but um, yeah. Strange that they only give you a 25mm. But, oh well, it goes together quite straightforwardly. Uh, you've got what looks to be nine parts in total. Nice little scenic base. Let's have a look at the uh, the parts themselves. So let's have a little oh, look at these. So there's the scenic base, uh, some kind of webway gate kind of thing going on. Definitely Eldar inspired, or Craftworld inspired. You've got the, the horned uh, face mask, the death mask, whatever you want to call it, right there. Looks amazing. Uh, almost reminds me of the uh, Sons of the Harpy off uh, Game of Thrones in a way. Um, you've got the right leg, a little booty, and then you've got the the back of the um, armour. You've got this uh, little short cape. You've got these magics or whatever they are, eff effects. You've got the little Harlequin's uh, kiss weapon, this big um, tubed needler type thing that you thrust in and then it releases the molecular fibers or filament or whatever you want to call it and then just shreds you from the inside out and then you've got this long hood which looks awesome uh, and then you've got like a gemstone jewel thing and another like gemstone thing going on and you've got the yeah, little outstretched hand as well so not many parts there nine but there is enough detail and uh, with Harlequins, it's all about the painting. Painting, It really is. Uh, they are, in my opinion, one of the hardest to paint armies. Um, if you want to kind of follow the, the uh, paint scheme that Games Workshop uh, go through. Uh, yeah, very, very difficult. But yeah, I thought I'd add a solitaire just because um, I wanted one uh, for the Harlequins. And um, I looked at its stats and it looks pretty awesome. I'll try and get a review out for the solitaire um, quite quickly. I would like to go through and review uh, all of the other uh, miniatures in the Harlequins range. So please do put it in the comments below if that is something that you wish to see. I don't do many Eldar or Craftworld uh, things on the channel at all. So these are quite rare videos. I would love to do a bit of an army update and review all of the, the, the models because quite a few of mine are, are painted. Um, so I, I would like to do some showcases and, and reviews. Uh, I really enjoyed making the uh, Blood of the Phoenix videos with uh, Jane Czar and the new Hal and Banshees. This army does need a refresh though, big time. Uh, all the Phoenix Lords, all the Aspect Warriors, and the Plastic Guardians and a few other things. I would love to see them um, invest more into them like they did when they uh, brought out those Wraith Knights well, many years ago now. Uh, anyway, what do you guys think of the Solitaire? Please do put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Avatar of Cain protects.